Welcome to section one, PyKX Basics. In this section, we're going to learn the basic data structures and data types that are within PyKX, how we generate PyKX objects, and finally, doing some data generation with PyKX, some basic manipulation of our PyKX objects, a bit of indexing and slicing, and then reading data in to PyKX and writing data out from PyKX. So the basic data structures that are available to us in PyKX all start at the core atomic type. And the atomic type is PyKX's most basic and indivisible type within the entire library. So you can think about floats, integers, booleans, timestamps. All of these data types are atomic types in PyKX. So they're called a float atom, int atom, boolean atom, and so on. And to learn more about atomic types, I recommend checking out the reference card here. And this is a little bit of a sample of it. In the notebook, there'll be a link. And you can go and actually view this reference card uh, to get a better understanding of all the types that are available to you. After that, we will learn the collection types in PyKX. So we think about vectors, lists, dictionaries, tables, and keyed tables. All these are really important data structures. We'll learn how to create them and do some basic indexing and slicing upon them. For PyKX objects, we're gonna learn how to generate these objects and we can generate them from Python objects. So we can take a method called kx.2q and you can see an example code right here kx.q of whatever Python object that you have. So say you had a pandas data frame, you could pass that data frame into this functionality here and it would output a PyKX table. So depending on the Python object you pass in, it will output a PyKX object of the corresponding type. Now we'll also understand how we can go from PyKX data types back to Python data types if necessary. And then finally, we'll use PyKX to do some basic data generation using the random functionality. We'll do some basic manipulation of our objects, some indexing, some slicing, so we can access elements within our collection objects. And then finally, we'll learn how to read in data to PyKX with read CSV and write out data from PyKX with write CSV. All right, let's get started with the notebook. See you over there.